Well, I have got my new exhaust system and I'm going to spend the day putting it on. So let me show you what I got. This is a Marvin exhaust system. And I say it's a custom system because they only build it to order. Um, they have patterns on file. But uh, to get this system, usually you have to jump through some hoops. And it's not readily available in the U.S. Um, there's a Super Magna owners group forum, and I think the V4 Muscle Bike forum have done group buys. That's the origin of this system here. <clears throat> now here's my original system, which is still in pretty good order. Um, that's how the collector system works on it. These are the rear two cylinders, the front two cylinders. <clears throat> you got a crossover and uh, a little bit of a convoluted system how that all pans out. But uh, I don't know how well it shows up in the video, <clears throat> but pipes have seen better days. This, uh, this rust here is all surface rust. And uh, I'm going to clean these pipes up and polish as best I can, but there's just little bits of damage here, there, and a chrome. But, you know, all things being considered for a Super Magna, those pipes are in extremely good shape, and I'm not sure if I'm going to hold on to them or try and eBay them off. <clears throat> now, the new pipes are brand new. Brand spanking new. I, I was first one to open them out of the box. The uh, exhaust clamps are a little different. They don't use the uh, Honda gaskets. You actually have to do the, the trick with a little bit of RTV to seal them up because they just uh, press fit in there. And uh, the ends are a little different. They don't have the little black tips on them. I may yet paint the ends of these so they look more like the original ones, but let's get cracking and get them installed because that magnet just does not look right without the pipes. First step here is uh, this pipe actually has to get flipped over and it goes on top of this. And then the whole thing goes in as one assembly. Um, <clears throat> on the original exhaust, they, uh, they kind of come apart in halves and you can take the left and right halves off, but it's a different design. So. You get the uh, exhaust clamp on there first. Then I'm going to have to put some RTV around the end of that. Just some high temp Permatex black um, just to help it seal because there is no gasket that goes in to those pipes. And I don't want to make sure I'm not going to have any problems with it. So let me get them together and we can get them under the bike. Alright, so, gotta get some more TV around here. I'll need tons of it. Of course, the wind's picking up. Good deal. Smear this around my finger. Just like that. See? Now, get this crap off my fingers so I don't get it all over everything. This pipe has to get the flip upside down. Just enough room for this whole mess to clear. <clears throat> now before I tighten that down, I gotta get it under the bike. Actually, I can't tighten any of it down until it's on the bike and uh, bolt it in place. Because I may have to adjust its positioning 
can't do that. I'm, uh, I'm bolting stuff up already. So, let me get the extra goop off of here. Wow, well, it's still pliable. <clears throat> This has got pretty good working time. I mean, it's going to take some temperature for it to set up. So I've got some time here to clean up my mess. I really wish that Marvin would have designed this to use the OEM exhaust gaskets because I bought a new set thinking I would need them. <laughs> and I didn't. <coughs> Alright. So, let's get him on the bike. Well, I got him on the bike and uh, I've got to I've got to get some of uh, the sealant on the two downpipes from the rear cylinder bank um, up there. And then uh, it's a, the last part would be to put the two front pipes that run underneath the bike in there. And I'm going to need a helper, so i got to go find my awesome wife, Melly to help me lift this pipe into place so I can get the mounting bolts onto the brackets. And uh, hang off of these brackets right here so this system uses all well it'll pretty much look stock it'll use all the factory mounting locations I cannot wait to hear it alrighty give me a second here I have employed the help of my lovely wife Melly say hi Mel hi. <laughs> that's okay I don't think you can be seen on the cam right now I'm just uh Wiping off excess uh, silicone sealant here so I don't get it all over my nice, new, lovely, awesome pipes. Now, when you lift these dudes up, you're gonna, I'm gonna try and get one bolt in on my side, and then I'm gonna come over after it hangs off the bolt on my side okay. and put one in on yours, and then. I'll still need your help kind of fidgeting around, but we won't have to hold up so much weight. Okay. I mean, they're not super heavy, but... And the top and the bottoms, you can see, they wiggle in relation to each other. Mm -hmm. So, I will guide them now. Before we start lifting, see that bracket that's next to your left hand there? Yeah. Yep. Avoid hitting that. You'll scratch yep. at the pipes. Yep. Okay. I gotta get them into the collector here first. Okay, wiggles. <clears throat> Hold on, I think I might have a problem. I gotta get these clamps out of the way. Hmm, he says. Bring it down just a little. Okay, okay. Now I can push it up. There we go. Okay, got a hold of it? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna start. Oh wow, they got a ways to go. Um, okay. That was an up old rocket. Good thing that these brackets move just a little bit. They're on rubber, uh, rubber bushings. So I hope they're the same size. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck if the bolts were different threads? That one doesn't. Stop. Let me try that one. Are they supposed to be real close to this bracket over here? Yep. Okay.
Haha, <laughs> I got a bolt started. We'll get one more. Then I'll come. Let me know if your arms are getting tired. No, it's okay. okay. Two on my side, coming your way. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna do fish the rest of the in here. And I've got so much room to maneuver my hands, like none. No. Oh. <clears throat> I got a mill on a camera today. Yay. <laughs> yes, it's always better and more fun for me when you're camming instead of me trying to do all of it, Mel. Hint, hint. I need the extra set of eyes that I don't have. <laughs> yeah, I can't see around your big head. <laughs> <laughs> well, now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, well, I have a fat head. I can't. I can't deny it. My helmet comes in large, and holy shit, those are the two sizes it comes in. So, what do you think, Mel? Should I paint the end of these pipes black so that they match the other ones? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I like them shiny. I figured out that the brackets aren't going to line up right. Uh, even though that's how the old pipes came off. I actually have to take the seat off so I can get side covers off so I can get to the top of the exhaust mount brackets. Then bolt them to the pipes and then bolt them back onto the bike. Uh, i got to take my lovely seat off. Think there may be like one other super magnet owner out there with a Marvin exhaust that are gonna be like, no, nah, geez, that's, that's how you do it. 